Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do a deck doctor. Thanks to Rat Elemental for some beating this deck. The deck name is uh, Colossal uh, Aurok uh, Cannon or simply Aurok Cannon or Colossal Cannon if you want. And uh, let's see the deck and the main idea of the deck that we are gonna preserve while uh, making this deck as competitive as possible. So the main idea of uh, the, the deck, obviously, is to rush out uh, Colossal Aurox and then uh, uh, copy them with the Fertility Offering. Uh, we have a Scrivener to help us uh, fetch those Fertility Offerings back so that we can make even more Colossal Aurox. Then we have uh, the Aurox Elixir uh, to activate those uh, Aurox for a finisher or uh, also to, I guess, start your economy by uh, getting the Herd of Aurox but you really don't want to do that because then uh, you have uh, less targets, more targets for the fertility offering and so you have less chances to uh, copy the Colossal Aurox, uh, which is what you want. Then we have uh, Shrine of Rebirth, which uh, I guess uh, helps uh, the, the Colossal Aurox to, to return to your hand, uh, which they already do uh, for their third effect. And then we have uh, Segretor Toys, which is uh, kind of interesting for uh, your economy cho option and uh, for that reason we want to run as many magic uh, coins uh, as many as we can and uh, the serpent seals obviously is better for that uh, purpose but uh, also the wishing coin uh, uh, could do the job as uh, uh, if you... as I was saying the wishing coin is also a viable option because also most of the times it's also better because uh, you get the magic uh, and then you choose where when to spend uh, that magic uh, while the serpent seal it's true that it's uh, more likely to activate but you don't have control on when the magic is uh, fed and also you can only use that magic to feed your hero and not to buy things uh, right away or uh, attack and all the magic uh, does so yeah that's the the main uh, concept of the deck this is how the our user uh, submitted the deck, uh, we will try some matches uh, with this uh, version and then we will try to make it uh, as good as possible. Another side note, uh, I tried to play this deck on multiplayer but I found out that uh, uh, the, um, the quakeways are, are really too long right now on the game. Uh, I didn't uh, have time to search for uh, anyone uh, uh, wanting to help. So uh, I will try to test the, the, the earlier versions of the deck first on single player, uh, Grandmaster, uh, so that we can uh, be faster on the recording and also have more matches. Um, and then uh, maybe later on the, the last iterations of the, the deck I will try to play in multiplayer if someone is available. So yeah, the, the, sorry for the inconvenience, but right now it's very hard to find some players. Okay, um, as I was saying, the, the main uh, starter for our for this deck is to um, get as many sacred toys out as you can, uh, probably two, to start out, and then we will try to search for the Colossal Laurel. So just uh, pass until the, the Colossal Laurel uh, shows up. Yeah, I didn't see the, the point of light in his end. That's uh, kind of annoying. But we do get the Colossal Aurok. Okay, so we are at 10. If we feed, the, if the Serpent seals uh, triggers, uh, we can push the Colossal Aurok out. It doesn't trigger and also uh, I want to remove the Argret Flower as soon as possible, so yeah. And yeah, you saw that uh, the first match didn't go quite as well. Um, I did. Don't, I don't know where the um, the wagon bomb uh, uh, went out. Probably from uh, uh, the summoner's rift. I guess I don't remember the name. But yeah, pretty likely for him. But uh, you may see the the main problem of this deck already. That is very very slow. The economy is uh, not so reliable. But we will try again and see how this deck plays out. 
so we still get another uh, Sacred Tortoise. Uh, probably we also want to go for the Shrine of Rebirth or additional uh, procs uh, for, from the coins. Okay, let's try this. Since those are our main uh, ways to, to get economy. Okay, uh, he's being pretty aggressive right away. Okay, now we can uh, go for the Colossal Auroch, uh, we might as well need the magic, so that we get, no, we get also life out of the, the magic that we were to spend. Okay, the Colossal Auroch dies, but we do get uh, him back. Now we can go for uh, Auroch Elixir to clear a bit his board, to get another one into the hand, it's very nice. So we clear the board and now we have a Colossal Auroch out. So nice we can also copy the colossal auroch we do get him back so now we have two colossal aurochs out and one into the deck and this seems pretty much GG at this point so yeah it's just a matter of time and we also draw another aurochs MC so yeah that's good game. Okay, this match played out uh, a little better. Uh, let's try another one to see uh, how this deck plays out even more. So, uh, we don't get the Sacred Toys, but we do get the Shrine of Rebirth. That was a misclick. We also get the Sacred Toys, so again, our economy plan is, uh, is pretty much done. On the early, earlier turns, really, we don't care about uh, what our opponent does. We really can't interact much uh, with uh, what he does. So okay, we can uh, rush out the Colossal Arox right away. Probably we want to copy Colossal Arox to get another one. So next turn, Ezra will draw one of those, and then maybe next turn even the other one. So we do get uh, another one into the hand. Probably second Sacred Two Toys. We can go for another Shrine of Rebirth. At this point, uh, probably our Corusal Arocs are unkillable, except that uh, we do get them back every time. Okay, and with the Auroxel is here, that's good game. Okay, so we did see that uh, uh, this deck already uh, wins uh, two out of three games, uh, and uh, one of those was really unlucky for us. But uh, uh, my main concern is that uh, probably the economy uh, is not that strong. I would like to remove this uh, uh, package of economy shell for something that is better, in my opinion. So we probably want to go for Elder Bores and Ritual Slaughter. Uh, probably we do want to have 2 and 2, so probably we did see that Scrivener, Scrivener is uh, pretty much uh, inconsistent. Also having an, a Scrivener uh, with a Riddle Slaughter, which is a Riddle itself, uh, doesn't really help much because the Scrivener can draw the Riddle Slaughter instead of the Fertility Offering. Uh, so yeah, and also mm, it's pretty much an overkill to uh, when you do get uh, already one fertility offering, trying to redraw that uh, uh, as many times as possible with the scrivener really is not necessary. Uh, most of the times you just uh, need one fertility offering, only one activation. It's still uh, uh, pretty good. Having two colossal aurox uh, is insane, especially with Ezra. And uh, so yeah. Mm, you probably are better off by uh, hoping that you redraw the fertility offering by itself and uh, not uh, wanting the scrivener. Really, it's uh, it's uh, too much of an overkill. I don't know how to say that. So yeah, probably want to ditch the scrivener and go for a riddle slaughter. Let's see how this uh, plays out. It's obviously true that uh, having uh, one other boars into the deck um, will. Uh, make the Colossal Arox uh, less uh, targetable uh, from the Fertility Offering, for example, but uh, we can... Uh, we really just uh, need one uh, Erdog Bores 
to start our economy in the early stages. And uh, after that we can simply um, put our Erdog Boros into the pocket, only play hit him uh, when uh, we can Riddle Slaughter him again, and uh, so that we are sure, we are sure that uh, all our draws are uh, Colossal Arox. So yeah, let's, let's try this. Uh, I feel like it is a better economy option than the previous one. Uh, at this point, the, um, also the Serpent Seals uh, really can uh, go out. And uh, we can go more for uh, even more Wishing Coins. Which I don't have, so we can go for, uh, I don't know, the better Charms. So yeah, but really the coins are not that uh, necessary or important. They are, obviously, but uh, they are not the main part of the deck. So yeah, let's try this out. So we do get the, um, the our main uh, economy combo right away. So at the boards, yeah, let's load them. We really don't want to buy too many riddles loader, uh, but we do need to, to redraw them from our deck. So you see that uh, right now, already we did generate uh, a pretty insane amount of. Uh, of resources, uh, I don't know. Do we want to kill the Winter and the Militia? Probably yes. Yeah, let's do that. Also, we don't want to play the Art of Wars, so we want to draw more coins. And if he kills the Art of Wars, then we don't get another draw. So yeah, we can already play a Colossal Arox. So let's do, let's do that. Also, the, the food that uh, we will get from the Erdobors, uh, most of the times it is useless, that's true. But uh, in this case, for example, we could uh, heal the Colossal Aurox, and so that he could not uh, remove that, which is uh, pretty useful. Also, that was a misplay because uh, we could have simply healed him back with uh, the Fertility Offering, but yeah, it was just to demonstrate a point. Okay, so we do see that our uh, uh, chain of Colossal Arox is uh, going. We do also get the Arox Celtics here, and uh, that's a good game. Okay, let's try another time this iteration, see if uh, something uh, is off with this build. Okay, we don't get the Dare the Boars, that's fine. But we do get the, the most upgraded Colossal Aurox, so we can uh, rush him it uh, out on third turn. So let's do that. Can kill him, probably. So yeah, he does. She does. We are against Tazin. Okay, we do redraw him. Uh, that's pretty lucky, because we can go for Fertility Offering. And uh, this already is uh, looking kinda good. Okay, so right now another thing that is uh, concerning me is the Aurox Elysir. Uh, right now if we add the, um, the Carnage instead of the Aurox Elysir, uh, probably it will be already a good game. Not really yet, but uh, really really close. And uh, we don't really care about the Carnage uh, uh, sacrificing those Colossal Aurox, uh, because with Ezra we redraw them uh, really really fast. So yeah. But again, we have the Aurox Elysir right now, so let's, uh, uh, let's use that. It is true that uh, it heals the Colossal Aurox, uh, but really, not so much of a point of in doing that. And we can uh, sacrifice with the Real Slaughter one Colossal Aurox for the little, which we don't get. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, we, we just wait a turn. We can do that another time, and then that should be okay. Well, one off. Okay. Pretty unlucky resources. It is. It's just a matter of time. And again, you see, if we did have the Carnage, uh, that would have been a good game uh, uh, really earlier, I would say. Okay, let's try this another time. Uh, probably the other change that I want to, to make, obviously, is. Uh, Carnage for our uh, Elixir. Uh, let's see uh, one last time with this iteration, then let's uh, try with the Carnage. 
Okay, you probably want to play the other boards to shield from the, the catapult. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, she did give us the usury, uh, which is a pretty bad play. Uh, we can also clear the catapult to make our Colossal Aurox healthy. Get the, the, the Riddle's loader so that we can uh, suck our boar. And yeah, at this point it's just a matter of, uh, of not dying, which is very hard for us to do. Just so to get the, the fertility offering uh, uh, going, our colossal our chain. As you see, we we simply uh, pocket our boar and uh, occasionally riddle slaughter him for even more uh, resources and stuff. We can uh, fertility offering uh, again. So yeah, probably the, the main concern is against uh, Metris, which uh, we didn't encounter so much. Uh, I'm looking at Sedius and uh, probably Mayam is uh, more threatening, but uh, Mayam is really just uh, slowing us down. And uh, against Sedius, we want to clear our board every time we see the Sedius and don't play the, the Colossal Aurochs until we can uh, remove it uh, where, when we play it. And for that reason, the Carnage another time is uh, much better than the Earth of Arox, because uh, we do get some turns when we play the Colossal Arox and the Carnage and for, for maximum amount of uh, damage, and we don't give uh, him uh, or her targets uh, for the, the Seduce. So yeah, uh, the next uh, change that I want to make uh, is uh, uh, probably the... Uh, again, Earth of Arox uh, swapped for uh, Carnage, so let's see that. Carnage, uh, probably the Colossal Aurox, uh, now um, about the, the amounts of the cards, probably the Colossal Aurox, uh, uh, they should be prepare, obviously, because uh, those are the main key cards of the deck, all the deck relies on uh, on those cards. Uh, Fertility Offering, uh, probably a, yeah, it is good to have more Colossal Aurox out. But with the Carnage, uh, this seems to be, to be taking the, um, as, as I can say, the um, it is taking the form of a more aggressive deck, more uh, of a rush deck. We want to rush the Colossal Aurox uh, out, and then uh, really again with just one Carnage, we already deal ten damage, which is uh, half of uh, the life uh, of uh, a normal hero, except Zalas here. But yeah, the Fertility Offering. Um, Oh, no, probably let's try this uh, version of the deck uh, first and then uh, see how how we feel about that. Okay, we see the serving mob, which is kind of annoying. Probably want to play the other boards just to contest the serving mob. We also do get the riddle slaughter so that we can slaughter more. Throw the Erd of Boars with the Riddle Slaughter, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, we just need three more gold and we can play the Colossal Arcs. Uh, never mind, because the Starving Mob again. Now we do uh, lose the, the must upgraded Colossal Arcs, but it's fine. We redraw another time the Riddle Slaughter. Okay, we can go for the Colossal Arcs. Probably, yeah, let's, let's not risk it, uh, clear the, the Berserker, so that he, it is harder for him to, to deal the Colossal Aurox. Uh, probably a proc from the Bantering Crown and a Crossing Pile could have uh, killed the Colossal Aurox, uh, so yeah, let's go for that. Okay, and again, suck our boar. Now we can copy the uh, Colossal Aurox. Okay, and you see already that uh, if he did not have... Uh, no, no, we can kill him right away, I guess. So that's uh, 20, uh, plus 2 skulls, so yeah, that's... Okay. So you see... Uh, no, one off, okay. 
But you see how much uh, more threatening this uh, this lackey is looking. Uh, probably we want to to remove the fertility offering. So yeah, we, we want to draw better stuff. Okay, so we can go for the finisher. Probably are the war souls. So yeah. Game. So you see, uh, much faster with the carnage instead of the Earth of Aurox. Okay, we do get uh, our main combo of Elder Boars into Little Slaughter on the first turns. We can suck the, the boar again. So we are already pretty close on the Colossal Aurox. We also do draw the must upgrade one. Let's rush him out. Now we can fertility offering him, but probably we want to remove uh, first uh, the all those flowers. We still have time. We always have time to to copy our colossal aurox, and also we do want uh, to have a, a carnage into the deck. So yeah. Do lose the fertility offering. Probably we want to uh, stall the, the fertility offering out, or just uh, get some resources uh, from the fer from the retail slaughter. Just uh, lay it right away. Yeah, uh, this clogs up our deck a little bit. Uh, the retail slaughter as well, but uh, that's not. A Okay, so we just need to redraw our uh, fertility offering, but uh, that's not needed because, again, with our uh, carnage, that's already a good game. So, yeah, again, it is pretty subtle, but uh, getting a two pair uh, basically activation uh, instead of the. Air, the, of the um, uh, what's the name? The. The. the um, the, the lotion, the potion, I don't remember the name of the herbs. Uh, herbs elixir, uh, the Aurox elixir, yeah. So, uh, getting two of, uh, of those activations uh, on the same turn, uh, it is true that you lose the, your board, board, but most of the times uh, that's uh, the, your win condition. Uh, you play it uh, when you can end the game, so you don't really care about losing the board. So, yeah, uh, I really do like much more the Carnage uh, uh, instead of the Aurox um, the Aurox Elixir. It is also true that uh, it costs uh, half as much, um, but yeah, only two more gold for a, a win condition is um, it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, let's try this again. Again, we do get the Earth of Bores uh, plus Rizos Loader. So uh, right now we just need to draw the Colossal Arox. We do draw the Colossal Arox. We are up against uh, the Yarken. So this will be interesting. We probably want to wait uh, uh, when we can play the Colossal Arox and the Carnage as well. So we probably, since uh, we want to remove those uh, as soon as possible, we probably want to play a real slaughter. Uh, it is true again that we, this will clog up our deck, but we do need uh, this advantage right now. And you see that we are pretty uh, close on resources, so we are pretty lucky as well. Okay, so we do remove uh, this stuff. It's also true that uh, the food that we get uh, can obviously be used to heal our face, which uh, sometimes we will need that. Okay, so we do get the Colossal Aurox, we can copy that with the Fertility Offering, we can also suck our boar again, kill the Yarka, heal the Colossal Aurox, just to be sure. And yeah, we did get uh, board control, so this is nice. Also, the Veil Warden is pretty, uh, as you can say, pretty threatening for our uh, our deck. Probably want to play there the boars. We want to pocket the carnage. I don't know. 
probably want to play the Colossal Aurex and just wait. Uh, probably kill the uh, the Jitter Warrior. Okay, so we do get another one. And that's a good game. Okay, right now I'm thinking about uh, removing one uh, fertility offering. Uh, not really sure about that because we need at least another one Colossal Laurox and for that it, uh, the fertility offering is needed. But yeah, let's try this another time and then let's uh, think about that. Okay, so we don't get uh, our economy going. And you also see the Seduce, so this will be pretty interesting. Uh, the first match against uh, Matris uh, should be interesting. Okay, now we do get the Elder Boars plus the Rhythm Slaughter. Mm, I don't know, do we want to clear that? Probably not. Okay, obviously we are up against an EI, so um, the Seduce should have been uh, kept for the Colossal Aurox. Uh, but yeah. They can't uh, read much about that. It's not an even fight. Okay, so we do get the Colossal Aurox. Get the offering also. But we do lose the Colossal Aurox, so we have to wait another turn. Okay, now we can copy the Colossal Aurox. We obviously have to kill the Tavern Wench. Right now we want to clear the, the board, it's uh, too threatening. Okay, we just need to wait. It is unfortunate that we don't uh, redraw the Riddle's Loader, but yeah. Okay, so we do clear the, the Tower Wrench, that is important. Uh, if um, the Tavern Wench didn't die for whatever reason, uh, again, uh, having Erd of Boars plus Riddle's Loader for those additional skulls or magic to to kill some uh, single target that uh, is very threatening is uh, also very important. So yeah, again, having the, this kind of flexibility uh, from the Erd of Boars, which is, uh, again, our main economy tool, uh, but it is more flexible than, for example, the, um, the Sacred Tortoise uh, for that reason, because uh, it gives you um, most, of, like, most of the times uh, ways to kill uh, in the form of skulls and magic, and also uh, survivability in the form of food. It's also true that uh, um, the, the Sacred Tortoise does give you survivability, because you feed your hero with magic, but yeah, so it is much more economic than... Uh, how much uh, the Erd of Boars is uh, versatile. Uh, so yeah, with that said, uh, I think that's a good game, again, because yes, that's 20, 24, yeah, so that's a good game. I don't know, ah, because uh, uh, one health was missing, so yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the current uh, version of the deck. Uh, probably want to try something more. Uh, what could we do? I don't know. We, we do need to have more copies of the Colossal Aurox. Probably we could try a more, a slower version of the deck uh, in the form of Scrivener plus uh, the Ceremonial Dance. But yeah, this seems very, very slow. We just uh, tried this uh, to see uh, why uh, the fertility offering is the best option. But uh, yeah, just for, for science. Let's do this. I don't see any other ways to copy our Colossal Aurox. Uh, so yeah, in this case, we want first to have Erd of Boars into Riddle's Daughter. Then we want Ceremonial Dance into Scrivener. Uh, to have two scrammers, which also will redraw our Riddler's Loader, so yeah, that's... Uh, and also the Carnage is for uh, a, a pretty much assured uh, condition. And then, only then, we want to go for the Colossal Aurochs. So yeah, pretty pretty clunky, but uh, 
if it goes on, it should be more effective than the fertility offering itself. So let's try this. Okay, we do get the herbivores plus real slaughter. And just just to say, uh, now the um, the two uh, the skulls and the, the magic is very important to kill uh, some uh, glass cannons. Uh, for example, if you are playing against Vispitole uh, in the form of banker, uh, some less cannons like that. Okay, so we draw the, the main combo. Now we need to draw the ceremonial dance. If not, uh, we can already go for one colossal aurox. There's no need to wait more. Okay, one colossal aurox is dead. We can go for the Scrimmer to redraw the Riddle Slaughter. Okay, we do also get the Scrimmer Dance. I want to heal the Colossal Aurox. Uh, we don't need to draw the, the Sacrifice of the, the Riddle Slaughter. So, yeah, we might as well keep the Scrimmer for uh, to redraw the Scrimmer Dance. Okay. Carnage, that's 8 uh, plus 6, uh, 14, so yeah, that should be good game. And yeah. Okay, we didn't see that uh, right now the Cinema Dance plus Caverners combo uh, didn't went uh, quite as well. Um, the main, the, um, the other stuff that the deck uh, was uh, enough to, to kill our opponent, uh, but uh, maybe in some other scenarios uh, that would have been that would not be enough. So let's try this again. Okay, we do get the usury. So I'm pretty tempted to to rush out the colossal aurox. Probably want to do that. Yeah. Again, if we were playing against a human, uh, he would watch out for these kind of errors. But yeah. Okay, so we, we are just one turn away from Leto. We can just uh, reduce the other the Colossal Laurox after he attacks, and that should be game. Let's see. Not quite yet, so we have to wait. Uh, it's probably safer to to kill the other boars, and just to be sure, we can also just to get the resources because we need those. We can then sacrifice the colossal aurex and yeah, it's a good game. Again, pretty clunky. Um, the fertility offering right now we didn't see the the, the ceremonial dance. But uh, we did swap out the, the Scrivener for the Fertility Offering. Uh, so you should have seen that uh, that the Scrivener would have been a Fertility Offering. So um, instead of the Scrivener to have a Fertility Offering, that would mean that uh, we would double our Colossal Arox, which is uh, huge. Um, you, you should see that every time the, the Fertility Offering gives you plus one uh, Colossal Arox into the deck. But the first ones doubles the amount of uh, Colossal Aurochs into your deck, and, and that's a very huge deal. And uh, so yeah, we should try uh, again to copy those Colossal Aurochs as fast as possible. And Fertility Offering is much faster than uh, um, the Ceremonial Dance, as I thought. But that, this was just an experiment to demonstrate that. Uh, again, uh, having the Ceremonial Dance will result in more Colossal Aurochs. Uh, also thanks to the Scrivener uh, in redrawing those, uh, those ceremonial dance, but the Fertility Offering is faster at, at getting the first one out, and it really only one more, uh, doubling those uh, is all you need. So yeah, let's swap the, um, this iteration with the, uh, the first one that we had. So Fertility Offering, this. Okay, and, and this should be my last version of the deck. Uh, we will try to play in some multiplayers just to demonstrate uh, how it feels against some humans. Uh, probably three games uh, if uh, the quakeways are not that long. And yeah, let's see how, the, how this, this plays out.
Okay, so we do get uh, an opponent. Uh, let's see how this plays out. By the, the bank uh, he's having, uh, probably we should expect a, a goat's uh, white board and a stampede for a finisher. Uh, I think that uh, that should be slower than what we are trying to go for. So let's see. Next turn, thanks to the lucky proc from the, the diviner, we do get the colossal works out. Okay, he's already going for a stampede. I would have uh, kept that for the colossal aurochs, but he's lucky to redraw it. Uh, so yeah, this will kill the colossal aurochs. Uh, probably not. Colossal Arox will leave. Okay, he should play the Herd of Goats to kill the Colossal Arox. Okay. Let's see if we draw the Colossal Arox. Not. Pretty unlucky. We'll see the Fertility of Offering uh, swap out. I don't know if I want to buy it right now and uh, hopefully see it. Uh, Later, probably yes. Should do the math, but uh, I guess that it is more probable that uh, we redraw the fertility offering instead of uh, seeing it in into the bank. Okay, Shepherd. Also, we were pretty unlucky that we didn't get the Erdobors plus the Riddle's Daughter. Now we do. So, yeah, let's see. Can't kill the Colossal Aurox, so that's nice. Let's see if the Wishing Coin and the proc didn't play that. That was a misplay. Let's see if he goes for it. Okay. So now we can also probably kill the Shepherd. So that's uh, very very nice. Probably also kill an of goat uh, to not give him so many resources from the goat Baltis. It is true that uh, he will redraw that, but I didn't see if already we did kill one of them, so that didn't matter. it not again that's uh, with the first one that's a uh, 25% to happen okay this is looking kind of threatening uh, oh yeah the god of rider really can't do much you probably should wait on their divorce I really do much fear the god of rider uh, the, the dodge 50% of attack is uh, obviously rigged <laughs> She dodges uh, more like 80% of the times. Okay, so he has 9 damages. We are 7 out of uh, lethal. Now 6. So we should heal. So suck the, the boar. And uh, we need to heal. All of those. Let's see if he tries to, to kill the Colossal Arok. It is better if he tries to kill that, because we have more time, more health. Goes for the kill, let's hope that uh, we, we drove it. Okay, finally. If that didn't happen, that uh, would have been 1 in 8 uh, chances of happening. So like 12% uh, or something. There is not really much of a point uh, in uh, playing the Fertility Offering because next turn we will already uh, draw one other Colossal Arox. Uh, not much reason to clog up our deck with the Riddle's Daughter, so yeah, we should wait. Now the Carnage is uh, very, very useful. 
only one out of lethal. Uh, proc from the wishing coin is uh, the game. Let's see. Okay, we didn't get that. Pretty tense uh, game. But yeah, I don't think that we can uh, survive uh, this kind of pressure. Let's try. Probably we should uh, play the both other boards. And what should we kill? Probably the uh, some matter of goats. Uh, they're not giving me so many so much resources from the goat faulties. Probably the magic should be used to to heal, as uh, uh, every two resources is uh, one herd of goats. Uh, said the healing tree is uh, three goats resources. Let's also try to heal the Colossal Aurox. Uh, we don't get that. That's fine. 22. Let's see if the God Bolt is... Uh, 28. Uh, still one off. I don't think that that's the right uh, play. We really do need the carnage. If we can remove all this, uh, this board pressure, the, the game turns out in our favor. Yeah, I think that's a good game at this point. Yeah, that's a good game. Okay, we did see that we did uh, uh, have some problems in winning the game, so yeah, playing against a Newman uh, tells us uh, better what this deck needs. So, um, we do need a very good start, and so the start is Erdo Boars, Riddle Slaughter, and then Colossal Aurox. Uh, and, but uh, since Colossal Aurox is the, the key main card, uh, it is even more important uh, uh, than the Erdo Boars plus uh, Riddle Slaughter. Even if uh, the Colossal Aurox comes as a second or third piece, uh, our third buy, uh, we should say. So yeah, that, that, that is very good. Then there is the Fertility Offering over the, the Carnage Ratio. So we need a very good start, but we also need a finisher. So we did see some very huge problems in finishing the games, uh, and the Carnage is very much needed, so we probably want to go for two carnages and one fertility offering because again fertility offering is not that much needed as a carnage uh, because carnage will finish the game and, and win you the game Fertility offering is just a way to slowly and uh, grindly uh, get more colossal laurox out out and uh, and then finish the game for that reason but it is not such a strong win condition because uh, uh, again um, we did see that in the into the game we did not have a way to recover from a bad start or a very good start from our opponent. Uh, we didn't have ways to clear the, the opponent's board, which the carnage does. And uh, so yeah, fertility offering is uh, uh, probably better, but slower. And so we need something faster to turn the tides, like clear the board and build up uh, our own. Um, really, we, don't re we really don't really build up our board because we do sacrifice those, but with Ezra we really uh, fastly uh, recover from that. So yeah, probably let's try this again. And on the um, on the thought of uh, restarting our board, we probably could put a repopulate in. Uh, but yeah, we do need a fertility the offering uh, for that uh, to, to have some free allies. Probably a feast is better. So yeah, probably a real slaughter for a feast. Uh, that could be also an option. But yeah, let, let's try this uh, first and then uh, um, try something else. Okay, we're up against another one. Uh, we do see Mayam. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't also run Seduce. Also, Ransak is pretty threatening. So if we see the Seduce, uh, we want to keep the, the Colossal Aurox. Uh, into the field. If not, uh, we want to sacrifice those with the carnage. 
uh, it should be pretty unlikely for him to have a Ransack and Sidious in the same time. So yeah, we can already rush out across the Lorax. Next turn the Mayan will uh, come down. But he can't go also for a Ransack. And by the time that he can, we will redraw the, the Colossal Arc. If he doesn't draw that with uh, with Valdorian, that would be pretty bad. Also, I don't know why I don't have the Lascari Twin Eagle into the, the coin uh, uh, gallery. Or like, not at all. Uh, this is not like I, I have it grayed out. I don't have it at all. Let's uh, try for the, the wishing coin proc, which we don't get for the fertility offering. So, yeah. Okay, the Mayam. The Ransacker, he was unlucky. But yeah, it was pretty much. Uh... Okay, so we did be a bit of a misplay. Because uh, we should not have played the wishing coin uh, for the subterfuge uh, to have him uh, less chances to draw our colossal arcs. So now we want to clog back up uh, our deck uh, with the art of uh, boars and stuff like that so that he doesn't draw the colossal arc, which he still doesn't. Now we should heal a bit. We are taking 6 damage, 4, 12. Thing. He should play the Mayam right now, but he can he couldn't, so yeah. Uh, Astral Gem is pretty threatening. Let's suck the boar, we need some heals. Okay, that's 15. Hmm. Pretty close, but yeah. We are still a bit off. Do we want to heal? So we are taking 6 with the Astral Gem. That's another 6, uh, only one proc from uh, a coin is a good game, so we probably want to heal. Okay, so the um, Colossal Aurochs prevents the, the Mayam uh, to kill us. Then next turn we are only taking 4. But we still need to heal. Okay, so he went for the, um, the Mayam instead of the Carnage. Mm, that's interesting. He does get a Mayam. So that's uh, four more damage. You have to keep the other boars into play. But then we take four damage from those two. Wow, do we lose again? Yeah, probably, I think so. Okay, we can do this. We have uh, uh, an Erdo Boris to prevent the damage from the Mayam. You keep only 4, but just one activation will kill us, so it's probably safest to, to also heal. You know, let's see if he kills the, the Erdo Boris right now, or if he waits. Another ambox, so we are taking six. We should uh, obviously uh, heal the board. And we do not uh, get enough health to, to be safe from the poison. So, yeah, again, pretty close game, but we do lose again. I don't know what uh, this deck is missing. I don't even remember what I first thought, uh, like the Repopulate, I was uh, thinking about the Repopulate or a Feast, but uh, that's not really the point. I don't know, we probably didn't get the Dare the Boars plus uh, Riddle's Daughter combo, so that, that should maybe the reason. We also didn't get the Fertility Offering, so yeah, probably unlucky, but uh, losing two games in a row uh, doesn't feel that unlucky and probably tells us something about the consistency of this deck. But I don't, really, I don't really see anything better to make this deck uh, even better. So probably let's try a uh, last game to see if uh, a better luck is, uh, is needed. Ok, 
Okay, so we do uh, get our rematch uh, from the, the poisonous guy. It seems to be the same deck. Uh, but now we do get uh, the, the starting uh, like uh, economy opener uh, with the uh, Erdoboros plus uh, Riddle's Daughter. So this is also a way to see uh, if the consistency of the deck uh, uh, relies on its luck or is because the deck is just bad. Also, again, Metris uh, is probably the the worst opponent you can uh, you can face uh, with this kind of deck. Metris is uh, is bad for every matchup. Probably not so much with the speed, or, but still uh, losing some key cards and uh, getting those uh, pocketed out of the game feels really bad. They probably don't uh, don't want to, or do we want to? Because he's, uh, he's drawing from our deck, so probably, yeah. Let's suck the board. Okay, so he does draw the Riddle of Slaughter, but not the Erdom board. Also, I don't know if the, the when drawing your hand, one drawn card is an Aldi, uh, is uh, triggered first, then the, the subterfuge or the, the draw from uh, the Doyer. Would also try to go for more the boards since uh, this game against uh, poisonous cards is uh, is very fast. And also with the carnage again, uh, the other boards uh, uh, gains value. If we had the Arox Elixir, that would not have been the case. Okay, so we force a Maya out. He's pocketing both the Riddle Slaughters. I don't feel like that's the right move. Could force out a uh, Colossal Aurox, uh, which we probably don't So, yeah. He goes for the Ransack, uh, he does uh, get the other boar. He can't uh, kill the Colossal Aurox. It's unfortunate. Okay, third subterfuge. We should really watch out for the Russell Aurox to not be killed. Which we can't prevent with the Mayam. But now he, he does lose one, so yeah. First uh, poison, I don't know, I didn't see the Belladonna, so second poison is out. Would go for another Red of Boars. Let's heal, just for, uh, to be safe, uh, we do see a Stratagem. Okay, he didn't draw anything, but he could still draw some, but we did draw the, the Cross of Aura already, so we are safe. Okay, another Hemlock. Uh, he is being pretty aggressive. So now the Carnage will deal uh, 8, uh, 6, uh, 14. That should be little. I think so. Also, the, the resources. So, yeah, that should be good. Game. Yeah. Good game. So, yeah, we did see that uh, probably. The first two, the, the first game was really close. If we did draw the Carnage, which we didn't, uh, we also still had only one. Uh, so getting two is uh, a must, I guess. Uh, if we did uh, draw the Carnage, uh, probably that would have been a win for us. The second game, we didn't get the start to, uh, from from the economy, and still was a pretty close game. And then on the the last match, uh, we did see the economy start. Uh, we were pretty flexible, and we did not play. Optimal strategy. We did club, clog up a bit our deck uh, with more Erdo boards than we needed, and more uh, probably this uh, is uh, uh, is better to see. Uh, we did play more Erdo boards and more real slaughter than we needed, uh, but that was uh, to make our opponent uh, get uh, worse uh, draws and then not uh, pick our colossal Aurox. But still, um, a, a good, uh, a lucky draw from our opponent of a Colossal Aurok would have been very very bad, but yeah, he 
it is still pretty unlikely for that to happen, so uh, we really can, uh, he really could complain, could not complain about that. Uh, yeah, again, uh, we did not get the fertility offering, so yeah, we didn't get a way to to copy more colossal hours. So, so still, that last match wasn't optimal, uh, and we still won. So, yeah, I feel like this is uh, kind of consistent, uh, and uh, I don't see, see uh, a better way to uh, come up with this idea in particular, the um, the Aurok Cannon. If you do have some better ways to optimize even more uh, this uh, idea, this deck, uh, let me uh, see in the comments uh, your, your experiments and uh, let me know. So that's it for this video, hope you liked it and find it useful and as always, see ya!